a season 14, what does that look like when you when they're so divided? Because I heard rumors of a spinoff yesterday. Someone called and said they heard a rumor of a spinoff with Joe and Melissa. Do you see that happening? I, I haven't heard anything like that. I would hope that we could still all be together. But I mean, how are you going to do that? I think we're such an amazing... We have such amazing dynamic. I think our show works so well because... Everybody has such an intimate relationship. We've been together for so long. A, there's family members, there's real friendships, there's actual bonds, there's real life stuff going on. I think that's why our show works so well. So I hope that we could still all be together, but only time will tell. I watch most of the uh, Housewife franchises, and we mentioned this yesterday. And when I said I'm with the Real Housewives of New Jersey stars, Margaret and Joe, yes. The how the husbands really are the stars. I mean, I think. In addition, I mean, I, I think see, so too. Yeah, I really do. And I, I love the Joe that, show, and I love the uh, camaraderie, and I love that all, all. It seems like all the husbands get along. We are all really good friends. We go out um, outside of the sh- the show, off season. Uh, we all get along, and even when the girls are going at it, for the most part, um, except for one guy, the the rest of us. Hang out and watch. Except for one guy. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. New guy or a new, been a, around a, or? a new person or an old person? A, an existing person. Oh, mm. okay. Who likes to get into it with the girls? Joe, mm. you're a real drama queen. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is what Joe. I can't control him. He's loose lips. <laughs> uh, so okay, so Saturday is when the two panels will will happen so it's 1 15 and 3 15 yes also Stu's going to be there this weekend he's going to be uh at a booth with amy phillips yes right. I'm very selling excited. their cookbook and then also he has a demo what day is his demo is it friday saturday saturday morning saturday at what do you know is it 10 30 i believe it's 10 30 and he has Cynthia on Bailey. display stage i think is right okay and he's doing a cooking demo with caroline manzo who i would love to see come back to jersey yeah caroline manzo would be I great to her. come back to I jersey love and i think her and i would get along very well because we both say it exactly the way it is we're we're blunt what you know there's there's nothing calculated about us we don't have to do things behind the scenes we don't we're not manipulative we're, we're gonna say it right to your face okay so i think that you caroline and dolores would get along beautifully yes i agree so is there a world where if they can't mend fences is there a world where two people take a break either louie and Teresa or uh melissa and um joe and do we bring back an og do we i mean i'm just curious what how do you fix this as a producer if you're kind of putting yes. your producer cap how would you fix it i mean it's listen melissa and joe always didn't get along with Teresa and louie they didn't oh you know when they first had come on the show there was a lot of discord I don't. I would love to bring back a Caroline Manzo and just yes. throw her into the mix and, yeah. and see what happens. Uh, you know, they could be in the same room. I really don't know how to fix this with my producer head. I would maybe make them battle it out another season. I think that's what it would you be. Would. Well, I think they're both very important to the show in different ways. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. Joe fits. Melissa and Joe are an amazing package. They fit so well with the husband. They they've been on so long. Their kids are getting older. Teresa's just started a new life with Louie. People want to see how that plays out. So I think there's there's two different dynamics there. And Melissa has such strong bonds with the other women. So I think there's a lot of d- different ways this could go. Let me ask you this, because Dolores is obviously good friends with Teresa. Yes. And, and she's close with Melissa as well, believe it or not. I asked, her my, I asked Dolores yesterday, and I said, look, my issue with Teresa <laughs> has always been that she doesn't tend to look inward. You're right. She doesn't tem- tend to be accountable or responsible. And what Dolores said is that Louie has actually been a very good <laughs> influence on her and gets her to kind of take a look at her role in things. Do you find that to be true? I do find that to be true. Do you find that to be true? That's good. That's true. I will say, you know what? That is one thing about Louis. He's very therapeutic. He, he does tell her to take a pause and, and look at her part in it. Um, What does he do for a living? Uh, that uh, I'm on the fence. That's a good question. Uh, (laughs) You know what? I know his company had, um, I'm not sure. (laughs) <laughs> because you know, right? I love a vague job. No, no, because I know his company had went public, and he was sitting on the board of his company. But then last year, he said he stopped working at his company. But I don't, I don't know. Hmm. hmm. They I'm did some sure, sort of list management. List management. Yeah. What's you that know, mean? Names and addresses, and you you. Is that them. like what Jen Shaw oh. does? I love a Used lead to list. Do. I, 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 you know, I don't. Um, d- you could look it up, DMS. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. You know what? I really did. I 
<laughs> okay, I don't mean to put you on the spot. No, I know. You know, you know what? It's funny because I like really... It's like I ask you what get... you do for a living. Hey, I'm a contractor. Okay, get yeah, it? Cool. Exactly. I you know, it. it's like everybody... We know how you make your money. 